away division and we've got Uzbekistan versus Kazakhstan here. This is Mohamed Sabir Bazabai. I remember seeing him box Lujabilio Tasunov and a stranger in Bulgaria and Sofia in 2022. It was Tasunov who got the win that night, but he's young though, Bazabai, just 21. And now, bring out his opponent and championship contender. Please help me welcome as he fights out of the goal corner, representing Uzbekistan, is Mojbilo Tursona. So, Tursona. Up to the recent. World Championship, but had to dip down to 60 kilos because Ruslan Abdullayev emerged the 20 year old at 63 and a half. He won the Asian Championships and the World Ladies Championships this year. We're underway with our championship out here at the IBA Champions Night, coming to you live from Batong, Phuket, Thailand. This bout is officially scheduled for five three minute rounds and will determine the pound for pound undisputed men's light welterweight champion tonight. Your five judges being represented here tonight ringside from Korea, Turkey, Uzbekistan, the Kingdom of Jordan, and Kyrgyzstan. And when the action begins, your referee charges the action, the man by the bell, representing the IBA, by way of Algeria, with referee Sid Ali Mokretari. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we reintroduce first, fighting out of the black corner. Tonight he weighed the scales at 63 and a half kgs. Here is Khorandar Min Mirzalar Kharsalin is that is Kazakhstan Nad Mohammed Sabr Bazar Bay. And now, it's Jesus' opponent fighting out of the goal corner. Tonight he enters the ring with a pro record of two wins. One of those big wins coming in by way of knockout and no losses. He topped the scales as 63 and a half kg even. Presenting Hormatali Khanimlar Bajanaplar Khushkalipsizlar is on the John Uzbekistan Mojbilo Dursana. Referee just do final checks, always looks at the gloves. Our combatants are ready. Double Represent shield, protector. We will now be giving his final instructions to the boxers. Okay, heads up. No holding. No low build. This is Jamaica, man. Touch your hand. Good luck. Pretty intense, that, between Tursunov. He's in the white. And Bazar Bai, who's in the black. As I say, they met the Destranger. That's the only other time I've seen them box from ringside. He's 24 years old, Tursunov. He's been unlucky because... Abdulayev, as I say, emerged at 63 and a half kilos and he looks a really, really good fighter, winning the Asian Championships and then the Men's World Championships and beating the likes of Hofhanis Bachkov in the semi-final, who previously only Andy Cruz and Kishon Davis could get the better of. That just shows you where he's already at. So he had to drop down to 60 to lightweight. And got to the quarterfinals, so that shows you the dedication he's got, actually, to be able to slip between those two weights with that kind of ease. And he boxed at those World Championships in 2021, and I mentioned Andy Cruz. Well, he lost to Andy Cruz in the quarterfinals, so he's been close to soon off on a number of occasions to meddling in a major competition. It hasn't quite happened for him just yet. Andy Cruz making his pro debut this weekend. Going in fairly deep against a very experienced fighter. That's over in the USA. There's a jab there from Tursunov. Little sneaky left to the body from Bazar Bois. Found that a couple of times. Stabbed to the body with the right hand from Tursunov. They're right on top of each other, these two.
keeps those gloves tight and high to Sunov, really picks those shoulders up as well, tries to sink his head in between them. Nice left hand there from Bazarbay. Turn the knuckles over on that, that one very nicely. Trying to bring the heat here to us enough. As I say, just get up close and, and tight with his opponent. But he looks comfortable, Bazabai. Little uppercut got through there, maybe, from Tursunov. But again, he looked for that left hand kind of over the top from Bazabai. The high punch output has come from Tursunov in, in this round and it's had a high effort feel about it from him but the looseness and the relaxed kind of work has come from Bazabai. He did get caught by a right hand there from Tursunov but it's a kind of a clash of styles here really. Tursunov is... He's one of these guys who makes it look quite hard quite tight as I mentioned he kind of really lifts those shoulders up fights out a little bit of a hunch whereas Bazabai is set up in that southpaw stance and he looks quite relaxed he looks as I said nice and comfortable in there I'd say Tursun probably did enough to win that first round but in this heat over five threes. The style of the man on the right there, I think, is, is more suited to it. I think his is just a less draining kind of method. Sneaky straight right hand there from Tursunov, just caught Bazabai as he was trying to open out. Right hand into the body, then just spun off his front foot nicely there, Tursunov. Really got that shell kind of defence going on in that the gloves protect the head. And because he does stoop over, it means that the, the forearms are long enough to be able to tuck them in and really cover the body. Left hand into the solar plexus there from Bazabai. Bazabai just doesn't want to just let himself get outworked. To say let himself, that's not quite the right way to describe it, but I think he just needs to do a bit more here because otherwise Tursunov is going to take this round on, on work rate again, although there is plenty of time left in it. So I think he's just got to go a little bit harder here, Bazabai. Try and make sure that doesn't happen. Nice short left hand on the inside there from Bazabai. He's doing some good work here. Little tippy tappy shots and then trying to sink some in, but that's a decent combination from Tursunov. He goes to the right to the body, looks for the right up top. There's that uppercut. From Tursunov. He's just not doing enough here, Bazabai. He's waiting a little bit too long. He could maybe try and keep this on the outside a bit more. There's no real difference between them in height, but when you look at him standing in the ring, it's Bazabai who's standing up straighter. Tursunov doesn't really look to use that jab other than for something to move straight in behind. Good left hand there from Tursunov. Right hand from Tursunov as well. That's good use of the jab there from Bazabai and then through the straight left hand. And again there, this is good stuff from him and he needs to try and capitalise.
right hand up top there from Tursunov. And the combination on the inside, he's just having the final word. As he did in that first round. There's that left. That's a good left hand from Tursunov. You see what I mean about the looseness there of Mukamis up here, Bazarbay. The way he set up there, he just throws that straight left hand, just slings it down the middle. He's got good technique. He's just getting out muscled a bit here by Tursunov. Any coach will tell you that the ability to punch hard with a straight either left if you're a southpaw or right if you're an orthodox fighter. That requires practically no physical strength at all. And when you get deep into a grueling fight, a tough fight, and somebody's trying to find something, then if you've got that kind of technique and you can hold it together and throw those sorts of shots without expending a huge amount of energy, then that stands you in really good stead. Not just anyone can do it. I said there that it doesn't require all that much physical strength, but what it does require is a certain level of athleticism to be able to get that weight transfer, that leverage, to understand those mechanics. Good three punch combination there, but they were all short from. Bazarbay, Tosunov, meanwhile, continues to work in his trademark fashion. Good left into the body there from Bazarbay. And he needs this round, Bazarbay, because he's lost the first two. I'm pretty confident about that. Trying to place that sneaky kind of screw shot there, Bazarbay. And then the left into the body. He's got some cleverness about him. right hand and Tursunov just gets over the top of that left glove there of Bazarbay and the third round is the same as the first two Tursunov with that high work rate with that aggressive front foot style throwing plenty of punches and getting through with enough that was a good right hand into the body there from Bazarbay I like what he's doing when he's letting his hands go but as I say, he's being outworked here. right hand side there Bazarbay trying to throw that left hand over the top and Tusanov again towards the end of the round just beginning to fade a little bit here but so far he's been able to recover sufficiently in between rounds and then just find something as he gets onto the front foot there final few seconds of round three and again Tusanov I think has done enough to win this one but Bazarbay having a success towards the end of the round
She's trying to tuck up on the ropes there, Fazabine, doing a reasonable job of it. Short right hand. Tursunov just lets his hands go. Sometimes he's not really set, sometimes there's not really an awful lot in it. It's just an arm punch, but he throws and throws and throws. So it's the fourth. Looking a bit more aggressive at the start than the fourth buzzer by as well, and he needs to be because I've got him 3 0 down. Nice left hand there from Kazakh fighter. Nice dip of the knees from Tursunov, just slid underneath that left hook. Waiting here, Bazabai. Tursed off for once there, wasn't really tempted. Just caught Tursunov as he was moving off to his right hand side there from Bazabai. And I'm just asking Bazabai now for the same thing I have been every round so far to up that work rate. Nice one two straight left hand was a decent shot. And he's trying to just invite Tursunov in here, suggesting to him, I think, that he's the one of the two who's got more left. Good left hand into the pit of the stomach there from Bazobai. And he's just beginning to try and get on top of Tursunov here and put him under some pressure. I wish he'd started to do this a little bit sooner. The heads came together there. Tursunov did come in a bit low with it. Bit of blood maybe in the mouth there, I think, of Bazobai. And the doctor will have a quick look at that, but he's having a good round up until that point. Not too much of it left, and I think he's doing enough to win this round Bazabai basically because he's getting on the front foot more he's not waiting for for Tursunov he's looking to try and dictate the pace himself it'd be good to see him finish the round in that manner nice jab and good defense I think he may well take this round and if he just started a bit quicker or or switched to this kind of attack around earlier, then we could be set up for a very interesting final round. Good left hand there, and again from Bazabai. So a good round there. I'll give him that one, but that puts him three-one down with just one to go. He is holding his shape well, as I mentioned at the start. He's very economical in terms of his style and the energy he uses. Whereas Tursunov, not quite so much. He looks to muscle things in a bit more. So as the fight wore on, I did feel like Bazabai might come more into it. But it's still fairly tight that round. But there's that left hand. He throws that left hand well. Just a little bend in the arm.
So into the fifth and final round. Richie Pilo Tursun off of Uzbekistan in the white. Mohamed Sabir Bazabai of Kazakhstan in the black. Just trying to pick his punches there, Bazabai is. He came marauding forward, Tursunov, and then tries to use the shoulder just to push him off a bit, but Tursunov won't really accept that. He did eat a couple of shots on the way in, but lands a nice right hand there, followed by a left. Leaps in with a right, and then doubles up on it, going down to the body. He is difficult to read, because that kind of combination there, well, there were two single right hands in the end. It's not one you would see coming. He jumps in from distance, punching to the head. Then as he lands almost, switches down and goes into the body. Solid right hand landing there from Tursunov. And he's picked it up in this fifth and final round. I think he maybe felt that that fourth could have gone the other way. And the doctor will have a look at that mouth again there. blood coming from it just a cut to the inside of the lip probably or the top of the lip after the clash of heads for the uppercut there and there's that straight left hand again he just throws it in this nice kind of shallow arc that south paw left right hand gets through more blood coming from the mouth but referee just standing off this one closing stages and Tursunov just digging deep here he's got a terrific engine on him he really has and that was a good fight Tursunov's won that one 4-1 probably maybe 5-0 I'd go 4-1 did enough to win that final round. And Bazabai, he's been at this level for a while, but I think that's the kind of fight that will do some good, you know, really lift that experience level because he just didn't, he didn't really do enough output-wise, energy-wise. With somebody like Tursunov, you've got to match him on that score. It doesn't mean you have to fight like him. But you've got to bring some heat. Because if you allow him to, he will just climb all over you. And as I say, he throws those punches from quite unorthodox angles a lot of the time. And they can be quite difficult to defend. I think Roy Jones is going to get up into the ring and present the belt for this one. Superman. Ladies and gentlemen, this championship bout coming to you live 
from Phuket, Thailand at the IBA Champions Night comes to a close after leading five three-minute rounds in immense 63 and a half kg light welterweight division. Before we go to judge the scorecard, we'd like to kindly take a moment and invite a very special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the legendary Boxing Hall of Famer and the undisputed middleweight, super middleweight, light heavyweight and heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Joining Mr. Roy Jones Jr. on stage, the official awarding bell for the IBA Men's Light Welterweight Championship Night title. And now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard. All your judges have seen it the same way, ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision to the gold corner is on the job, Uzbekistan, Pochmila Dusana. So, Tursunov gets it by unanimous decision. I think there were a couple of judges in there who gave that fourth round in favour of Bazabai, just peering over somebody's shoulder at the screen at the final scores. Kyrgyzstan and Jordan, those two judges gave that round to Bazabai, so they had it four rounds to one, the other three had it five rounds to nil. Good performance from Tursunov. Teammate has to avoid the smart of up there for the pictures as well. And we've got another clash between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan coming up next, and it's a rematch from the welterweight world championship 